can see why the car didn't want to be responsible for, for, for doing the driving right now. I completely get it. Welcome back, Berserkers. Today, in this video, we're gonna be doing an autopilot demonstration in the dark and in the rain. I've had lots of requests on the channel for how autopilot performs when it's dark and when it's raining, so we're gonna do that for you guys today. Stay till the end of the video because there's no telling how this is gonna go. We're working without a net here. You can see from the cameras, the rear camera, the side view cameras, that's the condition that they are with the water and the weather. That's what they look like. So we're gonna go ahead and get rolling. All right, here we are, we're on a city street. I'm gonna activate it. And I'm, I'm hands on the wheel being real careful about it because I, I never really use the autopilot when it's dark and raining. Um, if you look at the camera, you can see that the cameras are, 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 especially the rear camera is obscured some with the, the rainwater. Um, but out front, the windshield wipers are doing a pretty good job of keeping it clean. So now we're approaching this stop sign. I'm gonna take back control because I just have basic autopilot. I do not have full self-driving. So when it comes to uh, changing lanes, merging lanes, stop, li stop lights, stop signs, etc., that's on me. The, the car's not gonna do it, but it took that first little bit on a city street really well. But now here we, here we are, let's see how it does. We got about a half a dozen lanes across. This is Main Street right here. So auto steer temporarily unavailable is what it's telling me. Let's try again. Okay, so it activated that time. So at least for that moment, even it didn't trust itself. Um, it just said auto, auto steer temporarily unavailable. It didn't say that uh, anything was, a, was obscured or anything. Um, sometimes it'll tell me that the camera is obstructed or obscured and give me the reason for why auto steer is unavailable. Um, so it did activate the second time. Now here we are, we're gonna merge onto the highway. Um, it activated the second time, but I didn't like what it was doing as there's a con there was a concrete median to my left and lanes of travel to the right and it wasn't sure how to stay in the lane. I'm always telling you guys, and I know people disagree with me, but when it comes to autopilot, basic autopilot, it, for me, it does not show any pedigree on city streets. It is jittery. Any crossing traffic causes it to really break hard. They've done a good job of getting rid of actual phantom braking where it breaks for literally no reason, but crossing traffic does cause it to break unnecessarily hard on city streets. Also, the speed is limited to five miles per hour over the speed limit. Um, on city streets, but on the highway for me, I mean, it has always shown really excellent pedigree on the highway. It really shows you what it's made of. Um, I have not, I have not, however, used it in the dark and in the rain, even on the highway. Uh, I'm pretty careful that way. So we're gonna see how it performs today together for the first time. If you see the camera, it's even more obstructed now. The rear camera is even more obstructed. The left and right cameras are starting to show some halo effect from the rain. Um, so I'm gonna activate it. We're in a 60 mile per hour zone. I am going to limit it to 68, well, 69 as a nod to Elon. And let's see what goes on. We got the blue lane markers. The visualization seems to see dead on accurate exactly what's, it, what's on the road in front of me. Uh, I'm looking to see if it can see, yeah, it sees the car in front of the truck up here. It is keeping dead center in the, mid in the middle of the lane, even though the, the windshield is pretty well wet. The wipers are, are working. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell just how much it's raining, but it's raining and the wind is blowing. Um, so now it's, it's picking up speed along with traffic. We are now at 68 miles an hour and it's it's doing just fine. So far, it's doing just fine. I got my hand on the wheel. I'm ready to take over just in case something happens. But for the moment, it is really doing exactly what I was would expect it to, to do. It's asking me for slight input. I put the input into the steering wheel. It stays in autopilot. We're coming around a curve here. Now, one thing that you need to know when you put it into autopilot at night, it automatically puts it into uh, the auto high beams. 
So the car will decide when to put the high beams on and when to put it on low beams. I learned the hard way. See, sometimes that auto high beam function, it really feels a little squirrely, a little jittery, and it almost feels like it's flashing your brights at people. So I had it in autopilot one day and I, and I kind of got tired of it flashing the brights at people. And so I went into the control screen and I put the lights on manual and with it being an autopilot, the, the screen started flashing red. It was screaming at me like I, like I was a pilot in Top Gun and I, somebody had missile lock on me. I learned the hard way that it will not let you stay in autopilot if you take the high beams off of auto. It won't let you do manual high beams if you've got auto steer on. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you have an experience like me where you're in autopilot on a peaceful evening, everything is just fine and uh, you decide, well, you know what? The, the high beams are flashing people. I'm gonna take care of. So I'm getting a little nervous here because the windshield is getting much more. Okay, so autopilot speed limited due to poor visibility. So I had to take back over because it was, it was throttling the speed down all the way. Uh, it got down to 50 miles an hour. Um, the speed limit here is 60 and it throttled the speed down to 50 miles an hour and it said auto uh, autopilot speed limited due to poor visibility is what it said on the screen so this has been a, a really good uh, experiment this has been a, a, a really you know eye-opening experiment for me I'm thankful that you guys suggested it because we've already had where auto steer was unavailable when I tried to activate it at least once because of poor visibility. I'm assuming it didn't say that. It just said auto steer temporarily unavailable. But now we had confirmation where it throttled down the speed because I had it on auto steer and the visibility was poor. So we know that that's what, what will happen and it's raining and the wind is blowing and the, the uh, visibility is bad. So even me with my perfectly calibrated barbarian eyes, even I'm, you know, really paying attention to make sure that I'm driving safely. So on the one hand, we know that when visibility is poor, we now know for sure that the autopilot will throttle the speed down or will prevent it from, from engaging. Um, so we know that, you know, the, the level five autonomy where you hop in the car and fall asleep is not gonna get accomplished with the basic autopilot. But then again, this is not full self-driving. It's basic autopilot. Um, I've never tried with this type of weather. I've never tried autopilot before so it was good for for us to try it We tried it together. We see what it does um, And so There you have it. We know that it will throttle the speed down now on the one hand It's not performing to the level that we might want to not to the level that we might hope But it's just basic autopilot. This is not full self-driving. It's the basic autopilot but I do have confidence in it. I am pleasantly surprised by the fact that it knows when the weather conditions are beyond its capacity to keep safe control of the car. So I do take solace in that. That gives me a little bit more confidence because at least I know that the car will let me know, hey, this is too much for me, you gotta take over. So we take some confidence in that. So there you have it. This has been a demonstration of autopilot in the dark and in the rain. I appreciate you guys being here. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and drop a comment letting me know what you'd like to see because obviously when I read those comments, I read every single comment. It is me in the comment section. So leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see. And if we can pull it off, we're gonna make a video of it. Thank you guys for being here, Berserkers, and we'll see you guys in the next battle. cameras are really getting bad. Like, they're totally obstructed, especially that rear camera is completely obstructed and the side view cameras, you really can't tell what's going on over there. So I can see why the car didn't want to be responsible for, for, for doing the driving right now. I completely get it.